Hello everyone, and now we're doing a freaking another Walmart walk. But this time around, it's actually at the beach Walmart. So that's the cool part. It's like, it's not going to be the same old blah de blah de blah de blah So, as you guys can see, they already started Christmas already. It's just October 10th, and they're already starting for Christmas, which is even worse. Wait, I think I might have seen some Halloween decoration stuff in August so they're really pushing crap very very further than what it should be it's really messed up really messed up but anyways yeah as you can see there's a freaking Darth Vader one which is crazy and he put a stormtrooper helmet too bad you can't really see it because of the picture but mm, screw you camera <laughs> at times you have this Christmas tree which actually is lit up already and there's even more decorations of Christmas stuff. Well, now we go to the clearance aisle. And in the clearance aisle, we have this set that's for $45. I think it's most likely was $70. So, let's keep on dreaming. It actually goes back down even more. It just goes down. Next, I found, I think this was Century. Yeah, and this is for the Odin Wave. So, I found this guy. And here is a picture of what it looks like in the clearance aisle. Too bad the left one actually is a little bit blurry. You idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> I found a Lego Dimensions for Xbox 360 in the clearance aisle. Of course, I had to scan it to see what happens. And of course, it turns out that it's not in clearance aisle at all. Apparently, some idiot just put it there. It's like, hmm, should I buy it, should I buy it, should I buy it, should I buy it? They said not to buy it, and they put it in the clearance aisle, which is like, seriously, man? Seriously? You're an idiot. It's just like, yeah, good idea how to actually make someone actually want to buy it, because they think it's in clearance, and it's actually less than the other ones, but you're just a big fat jerk putting it over here. Really, man? Really? And of course we have this Terminator exoskeleton and this one's actually 19 bucks. Da -da 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 and then you have Fast and the Furious and this is the car. The car seems cool. I bashed that guy down there. Yeah, that guy right there just smiling. I kinda beat the crap out of him a little bit. I just thought it was funny to tell you that. Here is the other aisle, and as you can see, there's some bubbles for Darth Vader and Lo Yoda, along with many other things. Oh, wow, the Chima set. I didn't even see that one. Well, anyways, you know what the Chima sets are. It most likely was reduced a little bit, but not reduced to a sane amount of me actually going to buy it. Man, I, I'm now a little bit sad that I didn't see that Chima set. Oh, well. So here's the other side, and... Not really that much, and someone actually broke out a War Machine version, you know, the thing that turns from, it's a Transformer ripoff, I guess. We checked a lot of things over here, there's Stinger, there is, that's about it, it's just like, there's Stinger, I didn't really have a attitude to actually dig everything, so I just left every, I did look, but it wasn't really worth looking. And here's even more stuff. There's Venom on the left side, but sadly the picture is a little bit, yeah. Scooby-Doo actually made it, and it's still the same price as you can find it in the Lego aisle. I guess this is another jerk, or the same jerk, who actually was like, oh, I was going to get this, but never mind, and just puts it in the freaking clearance aisle like an idiot. Thank you, fool. Thank you so much, you fool. <laughs> Someone else is going to pick it up, and they're going to be stupid enough to think that it actually is a lower price, and... Ooh, I feel sorry for them. Then, then we have the lightsabers, and I have an awesome reveal at the end of this. You also, yeah, now I went to the actual aisles. I'm shocked that Air Hogs actually has a Millennium Falcon and a Stormtrooper, and on the left side that's cut off a R Wing. Yeah, that was wow. Here is the freaking Turtles Isle. And as you can see from the other one I usually go to, this one actually is filled with Le not Legos, filled with turtle figures. Filled. <clears throat> filled to the point of they actually have spoilers of what's gonna happen next. 
So it looks like the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series is going to be called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dimension X. And you have Mozart and you have Lord Dreg. Hmm. Ruler of the planet Sectoid and leader of the tech, I mean the Triceraton army. Oh yeah, that's the guy that, okay. But he doesn't really look like it. Yeah, that's the sad part. He doesn't really look like his counterpart. That's messed up. Of course, I had to show what the Avengers one looked like. Better than where I go. Better than where I go. It looks like even Sentry actually is out of place. What's the deal? What's the deal? And I tried to attempt to get some Dino Charge stuff. But as you can see, there even their selection is slim pickings. They do have both of the monsters. They do have Kirio and they have the Maze monster. I forgot what his name is. And they actually have two of the minions. So you're able to find the minions. And they had blue, green, and pink. No red, no gold, no gray. I mean, they want to call it graphite. <laughs> of course, here's the other sector of all the Marvel Legends and all the Marvel memorabilia. I had to look at the Legos. Sadly, Walmart is not in the running for having the monsters, even though I do have to admit, out of all the ones that they choose to do and not do, this is the dumbest idea ever. This is the dumbest idea to actually skip this one because this one actually is Halloween related. Of course, on the other hand, I would figure why not be cool enough to actually put it in check out aisles that would be cool but mm, they don't have it here I don't see them having it so all they have is a stupid halo crap like usual as for combiner wars they still have to protect the bots I guess the whole idea that I heard from John G is that as soon as they sell all this stuff right here they'll get the next wave so they do have to protect the bots still and yeah I think that's about all they had they also had Silverbolt, but I don't think anyone wants to look at him. And here's all the R.I.D. and all that stuff. Yeah, they don't even have Hotshot. Hotshot is nowhere to be found. I mean, Hot Spot. Of course, last but not least is the cool part. is the fact of I've been eyeing some videos, and it looks like they have Robocop back again. But it doesn't have the fourth disc that they had before. So that's kind of a bummer. But I'm glad Robocop is back. I can't wait to try to get that one. And Blade is still here. So that's good. I hope that if they... I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm kind of thinking. Of course, why not stop and check out the video game aisle? So they have 3DS cases. Then it's going on clearance for $7. Here's some Amiibos. They don't have any freaky Amiibos. A Lego Dimensions. My goodness just so glorious <laughs> and of course let's look at the games that are on clearance as well kind of so they have lego movie for twenty dollars they have halo 3 for fifteen dollars they have portal 2 for twenty dollars which i'm like oh man come on man come on i really want to have a steel price so i'm waiting for it they have grand theft auto san andreas for $20. <clears throat> so this is an awesome steal. This one is cool right here. It's the fact that they have this ACDC track pack for PlayStation 2. It's boxed and not even open. It's apparently 50, 67, 57 value. And they reduced it to $42. And now it's $20. I do have to admit this one is kind of interesting. I bet there could be a fan out there who actually will pay double what I could pay for it. And of course, why not just show the selections they have? And this one's one interesting one that I would love to just see Corey Zamir actually get. Or anyone could get because it's like an oddball. Emily the Strange Strangerous. That's kind of like an oddball that would be interesting to see someone get because it's just totally an oddball. And one thing that's interesting to find is Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer for $40.
could be going for forty dollars. I'm not sure, but to see it like this, encased, thrown over here, I'd have them in as kind of crazy. And of course, here is more showing of what they got. Of course, last but not least, is actually just show them, not amiibos, but show the Disney affinities that they have for ten dollars now. They're really trying to get rid of them now. They're really trying to get rid of them. But anyways, now it's time for the recap. Okay, it should be a light on, but whatever. So, what I got is this, but you can't see it because stupid dang thingy. And we got, yeah, finally got myself a lightsaber. At least you'll see it in picture form. So as you can see, I basically got a Jurassic World and this actually, yeah, like I said, this actually wasn't from my pocket. I actually came, got it for as a gift. So you got freaking Jurassic World RV for $1. I bet it was maybe more than that, but now it's just $1. And of course, the freaking lightsaber. I finally got one. I think chances are it was like eleven dollars, ten dollars, seven dollars, nine dollars, you name it. It was a very high price. And they were giving them away for three fifty. I would have got the other ones, but well, it's not enough pricing to actually make me get all three of them. And this one actually was the best one because the other ones as you guys saw, they're kinda ripped. They were kinda ripped open as if they almost were getting stolen and ran away with. But anyways, thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more.